All right, let's check some other news for you now. It's been a little bit more than two months since Roger Ellis and Alan Curtis, their bodies were found in a pickup truck in the middle of the road in the Aroostook County town of Castle Hill. They had been shot to death. Today, the man police say pulled the trigger appeared before a judge on those murder charges and several others that have nothing to do with that case. News Center Maine's Samantha Sugarman has more from Caribou. Yes, Your Honor. That's all Bobby Nightingale said during his arraignment on several charges, including two counts of intentional or knowing murder. Appearing via video conference for his arraignment in Superior Court, he let his lawyer do most of the talking. Plead not guilty to each and every count. Prosecutors and police allege Nightingale was on a crime spree back in August, beginning on the 5th with a breaking and entering, theft and assault case. He's also charged with threatening another man with a firearm on August 10th, just days before the double homicide. We feel horrible for the victims of this, but um, Bobby didn't have anything to do with it. Adding together the six charges Nightingale is facing, not including the homicides, he's looking at a maximum sentence of more than 100 years in prison. Count seven is intentional or knowing murder. That's non-classified, and that carries a minimum penalty of 25 years in jail up to a maximum of a life sentence. And he's facing two murder charges for allegedly gunning down Roger Ellis and Alan Curtis in Ellis's pickup truck the night of August 12th. And is he looking for his day in court? He is very much looking forward to that. Nightingale has been ordered not to have any contact with the surviving victims in his case. In Caribou, I'm Samantha Sugarman, New Center, Maine. And right now, Nightingale is being held without bail at the Aroostook County Jail.